Okay, you guys, uh, welcome back to class. I do apologize, I had to run to the bathroom really, really quick. <clears throat> Um, but uh, this hour is a reading comprehension hour for beginning students. All right. The uh, the stories that uh, we are going to be reading through uh, are about uh, Benjamin Franklin, uh, buffalo, okay, buffalo of the Great Plains. So uh, are they like bisons, okay, or uh, or very hairy cows, okay? They're very very big, all right? Uh, as well as butterflies, okay? So these are the uh, three uh, three stories that I have uh, that we that uh, I'm planning on reading through. Okay, the the important thing about uh, when we do reading comprehension is to ask questions. If there are words you do not understand, please let me know, and we can uh, review them. Okay, we can talk about what their meanings would be or their meanings are. Okay. Um, and then I also have questions uh, for each of the uh, stories that we're going to read through. All right. And so it's important to pay attention, even though someone else may uh, may have read. Okay. Um, it's important to pay attention because you may you may need to uh, answer a question uh, during uh, the uh, the answering question time. Okay. So the uh, the first link is right here. Let me go ahead and give that to you. Okay. Uh, that's the uh, the first link to the uh, to the first story we're going to take a look at and we'll be uh, reading about Benjamin Franklin. Okay. Now Benjamin Franklin um, uh, uh, was an integral part uh, to the United States. He helped uh, uh, write the Constitution, and he also uh, wrote it. Also, he uh, he uh, invented many things that uh, that we use even to this day. Okay, the harnessing of electricity, right? As well as um, <clears throat> as well as bifocals. All right, bifocals are are used even today. I use a set of contacts, which came from bifocals, so that I so they help me see better. All right. So he did a lot of uh, amazing things. Also created the first almanac and a lot of different sayings and things like that. So uh, we're gonna read through uh, read through a couple stories, uh, ask questions. I want to make sure that you understand or comprehend what we're reading uh, before we move on. All right, let's uh, see who we have in class so far. Uh, hi, Sophie. How are you? Hi. Good morning, Chad. I'm fine, thanks. I just woke up. <laughs> Oh, did you now? Okay, fabulous. All right, good, good to have you here in class. Thank you. All right, I hope you're feeling uh, feeling just fine after waking up. Had a good night's rest. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right, very good. Good to see you again. Uh, how about uh, Leon? How are you? Good day, teacher. Great. Okay, how about you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. And uh, Leon, where are you from? I'm from Ukraine. Okay, from the Ukraine. Excellent. Uh, good to have you here in class. Nice to nice to have you here. And uh, let's see. How about Koji? Hi, hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Hi, Koji. How are you? Uh, thank you. Great. Welcome back to class. It's good to have you here. Yes. All right. How about uh, Ekaterina? Hello, Chad. Hi. How are you? I I'm okay. It is morning for me. Uh, yes, it, 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 it's my night time. It's almost. Uh, oh, it's a little past 11 p.m. So we're uh, we're we're off just by a little bit. <laughs> Excellent. Good to have you here in class. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. All right. How about uh, Adela? How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, look at this picture. This looks awesome. Are you uh, Are you hiking here? Were you hiking in the mountains? Uh, yes. Yes. Great. Awesome. That's great. Well, good for you. 
All right, you guys. Uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, and get started with uh, with our reading. Okay. Uh, please open up our uh, our link here in the chat box. Uh, when you do, this is what it looks like. Okay. And uh, we're going to go through here and uh, read uh, read through these uh, short stories. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's start off over on the uh, left hand side. Uh, Adela. Let mm -hmm. me have you read uh, the first uh, the first three sentences, please. Um, or it's a little bit more, maybe four sentences. So go ahead and and read until you get to wise sayings. Uh, Benjamin Franklin was uh, one of the most important American in history. In the early part of his life, Franklin was a business person uh, and an inventor. Uh, he ran the Pennsylvania Gazette newspaper and also published uh, Poor Richard Almanac. Poor Richard Almanac was very popular because it made prediction about the future and has wise saying. Good, and it had wise sayings. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go to uh, Ekaterina. Let me have you uh, continue reading. Uh, please read the rest of these uh, sentences. Um, and uh, go ahead and read down to where it says America. Okay. Uh, ben Franklin also inven invented the Franklin stove, uh, light on the road, uh, bifocals, uh, eyeglasses, and started America's first library. He is probably best known uh, for his uh, kite uh, experiment, uh, which proved the uh, electricity could be ha harnessed uh, from lighting. In the later part uh, of his life, Rockman uh, became interested uh, in pol politics. He spent many years in England before co coming back to America. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, let me go to uh, Jose Ignacio, let me have you uh, finish off here. Uh, start with in 1776 and read down to America, please. Okay, Jose, make sure that your microphone is not muted. Uh, sorry. In 1976, Franklin helped Thomas Jefferson write the Declaration of Independence. Two years later, he went to France and convinced the French to help America in the war against England. After the war, Franklin joined the Continental Congress and signed the Constitution. He died in, 19, in 1790. Today, Ben Franklin is honored on the $100 bills. His name is honored at Highway School and Business across America. Okay, thank you very much. All right, class, uh, please take a look at uh, this uh, short, sorry, this uh, short uh, story here or this short biography. And let me know if there are any words or phrases that you do not understand. Uh, I can't understand the kite experiment. Kite. Okay, so a kite, a kite experiment. All right. So, uh, first off, uh, let's uh, let's see what a kite is. Okay, so this this here, Ekaterina, this is a kite. Uh, uh -huh. Have you seen one of these before? Yeah, that is a kite. Now, um, what uh, what uh, Benjamin Franklin did? Kite experiment, yes. Okay, so uh, kite experiment, and so uh, we'll see uh, kind of what he did here. Um, <clears throat> now, this is uh, this is a picture. So he uh, he had a a key tied to the string, okay, and the string was up uh, up into the sky, and he actually let it uh, hit. Uh, he let the lightning hit the kite, 
Okay, and it came down through to the uh, to the key. All right, and that was his uh, experiment. He wanted to see if they could uh, harness electricity uh, through lightning. All right, so that was a uh, a uh, his kite experiment. Okay. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. Uh, any other questions, class? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, and answer some questions down here. Uh, how about uh, number one? And number one is for Koji. Uh, yeah. Uh, which of the which of the following is something invented by Benjamin Franklin? A. Headphones. B. Electricity. C. Before course, D kites. Uh, answer is uh, C. C. Good. Yes, and th this would be pronounced bifocals. Bifocals. Good. One more time. Bifocals. Bifocals. Good. Much better job with your L sound, Koji. I can hear that <laughs> L. Good job. Uh, thank you. Okay, so bifocals. What are bifocals? Okay, glasses. Okay, glasses. So glasses. Um, uh, when they were first uh, when they were first invented, they were called bifocals. Bifocals. Okay, but these are uh, glasses. Okay, uh, yes. or uh, eye. And that would be the the uh, the difference there: bifocals, glasses, or eyeglasses. Okay, thank you very much, Koji. Uh, let's go thank to uh, Leon. And uh, question number two, please. <coughs> number two, <coughs> which is something uh, that may have been found in poor Richard's almanac. A. The directions for operating a sewing machine. B. The score of a football game. C. A penny saved is a penny earned. D. People's phone numbers. I think it's a C. A penny saved is a penny earned. Okay, excellent. Yes, a penny saved is a penny earned. Now, this right here is what is called a wise saying. Okay, in the uh, in the al almanac, Poor Richard's almanac, okay, you have what are called wise sayings. These are things to uh, help you uh, live your life by. Okay, a wise saying. So a penny saved is a penny earned, meaning that saving your money is a wise thing to do. All right, and uh, so yes, uh, that's uh, that would be a wise saying. Excellent job. Uh, let's go to uh, question number three, and uh, this is for. Um, Sophie? Ben Franklin started America's first library. Alright, so Ben Franklin started America's first library. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, how about uh, number four, please, Adela? Adela, can you hear me okay? Uh, yes. Ben Franklin provided the electricity could be harnessed from electricity. Uh, for, uh, from, uh, sorry, from lighting. There you go. Okay, now, uh, make sure that when you pronounce this word, you include the N. Okay, that would be lightning. 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 There you go. Excellent job, Adela. Okay, lightning. Okay, how about uh, number five? All right, and uh, number five is for uh, Ekaterina. In the la later part of his life, uh, Franklin became uh, interested in, uh, in uh, politics. He uh, co coming back to America. Good, yeah, and, and that word would be politics. Good. Yes, the accent goes at the very beginning of the word politics right there. 
Okay, good job. All right, how about uh, number six? Uh, number six is for Johnny. Uh, uh, Harish said, uh, if you want to uh, ask another person, because I can now, you know. Okay, sure, no problem. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Jose Ignacio. Number six, which, please. Which of the following did Ben Franklin not do? A, become president, B, sing the constitution, C, help with the declaration of independence, D, travel to England. Uh, he didn't do become president, I think. Okay, good, yes, he did not become president. All right, yes, so he did sign the constitution, he helped uh, write the Declaration of Independence, and he did travel to England. Excellent job, thank you. How about uh, number seven? Uh, number seven is for Koji. Uh, number seven. Uh, what happened first? A. Franklin goes to France. B. 1776. C. Franklin signs the Constitution. D. Franklin goes to England. Uh, answer is um, C. Franklin signs the Constitution. Okay, let's uh, let's check here. Okay, so uh. we're gonna go up um, up here. So uh, at the beginning part of of this paragraph, um, it says that he became interested in politics and then spent many years in England before coming back. Yes. Okay, then we have 1776. Okay, um, then he talked to the French. Ah, yes. And then he signed the Constitution. Ah. So, ah. the first thing that happened is that... Uh, okay, uh, Frank, uh, he spent ma many years in England. Uh, excellent. Yes, he spent many years in England. So uh, our, yeah. our answer here uh, is uh, uh, because uh, what happened first? Uh, Franklin goes to England. Good. Now let's practice that L. Okay, England. England. In England. Good. One more time with that L sound, please. England. England. Great. Nice job. Okay. Uh, how about uh, number eight? And uh, number eight is for uh, Leon. Today, Ben Franklin is honored on a $100 bill. Okay, good. Yes, on the $100 bill. Now, uh, this word here, uh, the H is actually silent. So we would not say honored. Okay, the word is honored. 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 Honored on the $100 bill. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Okay, class. Uh, do you have any questions about what we've read or what we've gone over here? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Any uh, any questions? Fabulous. Okay, guys. Uh, let's go to our next story. Um, uh, we're actually going to uh, uh, read here about butterflies. All right. May I ask uh, so, one question? Our link here. Yes. What's uh, what's up, man? Um, <coughs> the R sound. Why it's silent? Why we can't say like uh, before when he was talking with the uh, I don't know his name. Oh, why? Why is the H silent? Yes. Uh, because that's the way that the word is pronounced. Okay. Thank. You. Okay. Sure, no problem. Uh, there are some some words where the H is pronounced and others where the H is not. Honored is one of those words, uh, just like ours. Okay, we do not pronounce the H. We say uh, ours and not howers. Okay, that is ours. Uh -huh. right? Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, our next link is uh, in the chat box. Let me uh, put that in there one more time for you. Uh, please open that up. Okay, uh, when you do, this is what you'll see. And now we're going to talk 
a little bit about butterflies. Okay, um, let's uh, let's start off with uh, Mon. Let me have you uh, read uh, read this first uh, first uh, paragraph here, uh, as well as uh, a couple of uh, of other sentences. Let me have you read to possible. Please read that. Uh, butterfly. Sorry. Butterfly are some of the most interesting and stick on the planet Earth. There are more than 70,000 different kinds of butterflies. Flies. Butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. Butterflies go through four main uh, stages. Right? Uh, yes, that is uh, four main stages of life. Okay, keep going, please. The first stage is uh, egg stage, followed by larf stage as larf uh, caterpillar. I'm not sure. Do I pronounce it correct? Uh, yes, that would be caterpillar. Cater. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh. Cater. Okay. The future butterfly eats as much as possible. Okay, uh, very good job. Thank you. Uh, let's go to my next reader, and this is uh, Sergio. How are you, Sergio? Hi, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Excellent. Uh, let me have you read from As It Grows. Okay, uh, so as it grows until uh, until you get to uh, complete, please. Okay, I don't see the link. Okay, it's in the chat box. Do you see the chat box? Sergio, can you see the chat box? Uh, yes, I see it, but I don't see the link. Okay, uh, do you mean that the link does not open up for you? Okay, I see the butterflies test. Okay, you see the, the butterfly test? Yes, I see it. Okay, um, if you see the, the test, that is down below. You need to scroll up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and uh, we're we're reading right here where it says as it grows. Do you see that? Sergio. Yes. Uh, is it is in the first page? Uh, it is on the first page, yes. It's on okay. the first page? Mm -hmm. Yes, I see the first page. Okay. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. but we are, we are on paragraph two. Okay, okay paragraph two, okay. Paragraph two. Butterflies, butterflies uh, go through for main stage of life. Hold on, hold on one second. So, yes, very good, but you're going to go to sentence number. One, two, three. Uh, sentence number four, where it says, as okay. it grows. Okay, read from there, please. Okay, as it grows? Yes. Okay. As it grows, it shoots it over skin or skeleton. Okay, uh, please keep reading. Uh, this may happen for five times. After a few weeks, the caterpillar enters the next stage of his life, the chrysalis stage. Okay, keep going. In the chrysalis, the caterpillar will like wipe into a sub of living cells. Then it will organize into a butterfly and the metamorphosis is complete. Okay, good. Just tell there. Thank you. 
Um, yes, and so this word here is reorganize. Reorganize. Please repeat that word, Sergio. Reorganize. Great. All right, and this word here is chrysalis. 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 Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to Sophie. Okay. Uh, let me have you uh, finish off this story. So starting with in later parts and read to the end. In later parts of the chrysalis stage, you can see the forming butterfly through the chrysalis. When the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis, it pumps its wings to send blood through them so that it can fly. Most butterflies only live a couple of weeks, just enough time to drink flower nectar and to mate. Some, like the monarch butterfly, however, may live many months. Okay, fabulous job. Thank you very much. Okay, class, do you have any questions about any of the uh, words that you have seen or read through on this page? Yes. All right, how about, how about caterpillar? Yes. All right, uh, Mon, what, uh, what is your question? Uh, what does it mean, uh, this word? Uh, I put it on the chat group. Okay, let me see here. Uh, chrysalis. Uh -huh. All right, so chrysalis. All right, that is a uh, a form. So caterpillar. Let me uh, let me see if we can get a good picture here. <coughs> Cat Sorry, caterpillar okay. is is uh, as a worm, no? Mas more or less. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a type of a uh, type of a worm. Okay, now, uh, as you look here, uh, this would be a uh, chrysalis, okay, where it forms into some, uh, some sort of a cocoon. Okay, so it wraps itself. So, this here is a, uh, is a, um, is a caterpillar, all right, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's like a worm, okay, that goes along and it eats through like cucumber and leaves. Okay, but when it uh, it wraps itself, okay, like this, that is the chrysalis form. All right, so it it uh, crystallizes itself and kind of wraps itself in a form and hangs until it turns into a butterfly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sure. No problem. Um, uh, any other questions? Nope, no other questions. I have another one. Sorry, I see sure, nobody's no talking. Yeah, no one, uh, no one else has questions. It looks like they understand everything. Okay, go for it. <laughs> okay, it. this word I don't know how to pronounce it. All right, let's see. Okay, did you put it in the uh, in the chat box? No, because purpling chat is not working for me. Oh, I don't okay. know why. So, metamorphosis. All right, that's how you pronounce the word. Uh, try that, please. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Good. One more time. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Great. Now let's see here. Metamorphosis. Okay, so a uh, metamorphosis is the change. Okay. So this caterpillar. If we go back to this uh, this picture here, so the caterpillar is a worm at first. All right. Then it wraps itself into the chrysalis form or into a cocoon, and then it changes or it creates a, it. It uh, does a metamorphosis, and it turns into a butterfly. Okay. So this is a a, a bug or an insect that can change uh, from one thing to another, and that's what a metamorphosis is. Okay. Uh -huh. So you you could have. <coughs> You could have uh, maybe I don't know uh, um, um, is something that you may be creating 
like if you are an artist and you have a sculpture okay you have a piece of rock and you chip away at it okay the end product would be the metamorphosis it it would be the change from what it was to what it is now okay that is a metamorphosis okay okay thank uh, you any any other questions class and there a lot of another uh, different word I never heard about okay so, what's that no. it's yes I just put it in uh, chrysalis yes uh, yes that's the the word that we went over uh, before oh, oh sorry Okay, I imagine you have an, uh, another word. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'll be clear. Okay, emerges. Okay, so uh, emerges would be to uh, to leave an enclosure. Okay, so uh, a, you can emerge from your house in the morning. Okay, that means that you are... That means that you are leaving leaving your home. Okay, you're leaving your home. So you would emerge from your house. Okay, uh, here in this uh, in this picture, when we're talking about a, uh, a a butterfly emerging, okay, see here how it's wrapped up inside. So here it was in, it was in its chrysalis form. Then it starts to change, and it starts to emerge or it, mean, it means it's it starts to leave or come out of its cocoon all right emerge means to to leave or uh, to leave from an enclosed space okay that is to emerge okay great Teacher? questions these are awesome yes um, immigrate uh, has a connection with the immigration uh, Immigrate. Uh, where is where are you reading that? Is that here in this no, uh, story? No, it's not here. But emerge uh, has connection with uh, migration. The same meaning. Um, to migrate, uh, migrate or immigration. Uh, it, it it's sort of similar. Okay, but uh, to migrate would mean to move from one place to another. That's that's migrating, and it's usually a long distance. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, immigration would be to move from one country to the other country. Okay. okay so emerging, um, it would be different. So you can uh, you can emerge from your bed in the morning because you're covered. Okay, in in your your blankets, you would emerge from your from your bed. Okay, mm -hmm. you could emerge from your home. Okay, that would mean to come out. Now that's a loose meaning. Usually, it would be like a maybe, maybe like a cave. If you were hiding in a cave or uh, hiding someplace, you would emerge from your hiding spot. That would mean you're covered up so that no one could see you. Okay, and then you would leave that area. That is to emerge. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, any any other questions, class? No? Okay. And I, and I do apologize. Uh, I've been talking a lot today. This is my last hour, and so my voice is getting sort of scratchy. <laughs> All That's right. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's go to uh, our questions here. Okay. Let's scroll down to uh, number one. And uh, number one is for Adela. Let me have you read number one, please. Um, the... Uh... How many stages of life uh, does a butterfly go through? Uh, for many, uh, for many uh, stage, um, this is air, caterpillar, uh, mm, uh, chrysalid, and uh, butterfly. Okay. Uh, yes, it goes through many stages. Okay, it's actually four stages total. Um, it counts the 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 larva because it uh, when it's uh, when it's born, okay, okay, you have a, a larva larva stage, so it's four stages. Four, four stages, yes. Okay, great. Thank you, Adela. 
Uh, let's go to uh, Ekaterina. Second question, yes? Uh, yes, please. Uh -huh. Which uh, of the followings uh, is not true? A. Uh, butterflies must wait until blood uh, drains uh, into their wings uh, before flying. B. The butterfly may shed uh, its skin eight or nine times. C. Uh, caterpillars uh, turn into a liquid uh, in the chrysalis. D. Most uh, butterflies uh, live a short time. Uh, I suppose uh, answer B. But because butterfly may uh, shed its skin of, uh, about five times. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's check and see if it talks about blood draining into their wings before flying. Uh. Um, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, so it pumps I, I, wings to send blood through them before. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So uh, it, it, this may happen four to five times. Good, good, um, excellent job. Yes. Yeah, so here, here it actually states uh, uh, eight, eight to nine times, but it's uh, really four to five, five times. Excellent job. Very good. Okay. H how about uh, number three? Uh, number three is for uh, Entesar. Um, yes. Um, in what stages the, uh, does uh, the meto, uh, meta forces happen? A butterfly, uh, cat, uh, caterpillar, chrysalis, uh, um, chrysalis, um, I think. Yeah, it happens in the chrysalis. That would be chrysalis, chrysalis. stage. Chrysalis. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, how about uh, number four, please? Uh, this is for uh, Jose Ignacio. Which is true? There are about a thousand different kinds of butterfly in the world. There are more than a thousand different kinds of butterfly in the world. There are less than a thousand different kinds of butterfly in the world. There is only one king of butterfly in the world. I think is a. Hey, there are about a thousand different kinds of butterflies in the world. Okay, there are about a thousand different kinds of butterflies in the world. Let's check here. Um, there are more than seventeen thousand. More than seventeen thousand different kinds of butterflies. Let's see. Uh, yes, possible is okay. B, no? Yeah, so it'd be B. So there are more than a thousand different kinds of butterflies in the world. Okay, nope, no problem. No problem. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's go to uh, question number five. And uh, number five is for Koji. All right. Uh, number five. Why does a butterfly send its skin? A. It is hungry. B. The butterfly is coming. C. It is growing. D. To different itself against predators. Uh, I think. Um, let's go, uh, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. So why does the butterfly shed its skin? All right. Mm. So let's see here. Uh, we we know we uh, we talked about um, okay butterfly eats as much as possible it uh, grows it sheds its outer skin or so and then uh, this may happen six times okay so um, how about here so as a as a larva okay the caterpillar uh, the future butterfly eats as much as possible. Okay, as it grows, it sheds its outer skin or exoskeleton. Mm. So what would be our answer here? So why does the butterfly shed its skin? How about right here, as it grows? 
as it grows and uh, see it's see. growing oh, it's growing okay good yeah so uh, it's it's growing so it needs to uh, shed its skin okay or its exoskeleton oh. okay okay I understand gotcha okay uh, number six please uh, number six is four uh, let's see uh, Leon okay what is the second stage of life for a butterfly a larva B chrysalis C butterfly D egg I think it's a a, a larva okay uh, good yeah so this is uh, a larva all right let's uh, just check and make sure we're uh, we're good to go so uh, butterflies go through four main stages first stage is egg okay followed by the larva stage that is number two our question is second stage and it is larva excellent Yay. job <laughs> nice okay how about number seven uh, number seven is for man what is the third stage of life for a butterfly a larva a crystal butterfly egg um, I think uh, maybe it will be maybe it will be a butterfly okay so a butterfly let's uh, let's check this out okay so first stage is egg uh, followed so the second one is larva okay um, after after the larva okay it's uh, it's going to um, so the cal 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 caterpillar enters the next stage of, of its life uh, which is the chrysalis stage so this is actually going to be stage number stage number three chrysalis stage all right, so uh, let's see here. Okay, our answer for third stage is actually B, chrysalis. Okay. Okay, how about uh, number uh, number eight? All right, number eight is for uh, Sergio. Yes. Okay, number eight, uh, please. Circle all of the things a butterfly does. I think the current notion is a goes through metamorphosis. All right, so uh, uh, yes, it does go through a metamorphosis. Okay, uh, does it lay eggs? A the age made drinks nectar from flowers. Uh, I think I think is the A option goes through metamorphosis okay so we need to circle all so circle all, all of the things that it does all right so we know a a go it goes through a metamorphosis okay it mates and D as well it drinks nectar from flowers now lays eggs I don't remember reading about laying eggs so I think that's uh, the only one we, we would leave out Okay, so yeah, so oh, okay. we would we would circle we would circle A, C, and D. Okay, all right, class. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any questions up to this point? Not so much. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and go to our next uh, next reading exercise. All right, this is the uh, link here. Did you? Uh, yes. What's going on? Uh, uh, question number three. Uh, answer is teach me. Okay. So, in what stage does the metamorphosis happen? Okay. Yeah. Now, a metamorphosis is the change. Change. Okay? It is the change, change from when it goes to a 
a, 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 a larva or the uh, caterpillar, and mm -hmm. it changes to the butterfly. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so it starts off as an egg. All right, it starts off as an egg, ah, and then egg. it goes to uh, it goes to a uh. caterpillar, and then it uh, moves to the chrysalis stage before it becomes a butterfly. Yes. Okay, so the chrysalis stage is when it uh, it uh, metamorphoses or metamorphosizes into a a butterfly. So it changes into a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Koji, is uh, is that uh, understandable? Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Sorry. Okay, sure, no problem. So, uh, uh, Koji, metamorphosis means change. Change. Okay, yep, okay. To change. All right. Change. So, let's uh, let's look at uh, let's look at the picture here. Okay. This uh, this uh, bug, this insect, is going to change. It changes from a uh, a worm, a worm to a butterfly. Yeah. Okay. So it changes. Yes. All right. Change. So. The change happens when it wraps itself like this. Okay, you see how it it uh, creates a uh, a home or a cocoon. All right, this is called a cocoon, or it's called the chrysalis stage. Crystal stage. Okay, right here. Now, it has to do that so it can turn into a butterfly. Okay, that is the change. That is the metamorphosis from here to here. That is a change or the metamorphosis, and that change happens right here in this uh, in this cocoon or in this one. Okay, there's different uh, different kinds as well. Okay. Mm, yeah. All right. Does that make a little more sense? Do you un do you understand that, Koji? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I don't understand. Sorry. Okay. All right. No, well, good. it's okay. I, I yeah. I don't know if there's any more that I could explain that way. All right. Um, okay, you guys. Let's uh, let's go to our next reading. Okay, we have about eight minutes left. Okay, and we're going to uh, read about the Buffalo of the Great Plains. Okay, I put the link in the chat box. Okay, go ahead and, and open that up. Okay, there, there's the link one more time. And uh, we'll start off, where did I end up? Um, who is the last person to uh, answer a question on that last page? Uh, I think I'm the next. Okay, so Sophie, uh, let me have you uh, start up at the, uh, at the top here. And I'll have you read um, from, uh, let me have you read that first paragraph, and then I'll have you go to uh, ledges, okay? Okay. The great herds of buffalo that roamed the plains were es essential for all parts of Sioux life and society. For most Sioux villages, home was wherever the herds of buffalo roamed. Before the introdu introduction of the horse, Sioux warriors would hunt the buffalo by dressing up as wolves and stricking them into running off of cliffs and ledges. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let's go to Adela. Let me have you continue reading. And uh, read from uh, They Would, and then uh, read down to where it says, let's see, uh, cups and dishes, please. They would also dress up uh, in buffalo skins and make crying songs uh, like a baby buffalo. When an adult buffalo went to investigate, the warriors uh, would uh, kill it, it with spear and arrows. The Sioux Indians, uh, Indians used uh, the inter-buffalo following a kill. 
The buffalo hide was used for making tipis, cloth, moccasins, and robes. The hide was used uh, to make rope, and uh, the horse uh, were used as caps and dish. Great, thank you. And Katarina, let me have you finish off the story, please. Ch children uh, fashioned the sleds out of buffalo ribs, and buffalo fat uh, was uh, used as glue. Most importantly, uh, buffalo meat uh, pro provided food for the en entire village. Uh, most uh, of the buffalo meat uh, that uh, was collected was uh, cooked, uh, dried, and uh, pounded into pemmican, a sort of, of uh, like modern day beef. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Jerky. That would be jerky. 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 Yes. Good. Yeah. So pounded into uh, um, uh, like a modern day beef jerky. Okay. And that's that's basically dried meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, excellent. Okay. Uh, now, class, uh, please take a look at uh, all of the words here in the uh, in this story, and let me know if there are any words, uh, words or phrases you do not understand. Teacher. Uh, uh, yes. Um, in first paragraph, when he say Soyuk's life, what is Soyuk's? Okay, great question. Now, this uh, this word is pronounced Sioux, and the Sioux are Indians. Okay, they are Native American Indians, and uh, this is what they look like. Sioux. Okay, so the Sioux. Okay, they were Indians that uh, that uh, uh, were in the plains of the United States. Mm. Okay, so they are Native American Indians. The plains uh, is hills. Uh, okay. Hills. Uh, a, a plains. The plains are are flat. Okay, are they're yes. flat land, very flat land. Mm. Okay. And it has a lot of grass and things like that. Uh, it would be perfect for a buffalo. Okay. Now, uh, class, to show you what a buffalo would look like, um, because some of you may not know exactly what it is. Okay. This would be a buffalo. Okay. This is what a buffalo look like. Looks like. Okay. It has uh, some horns here. Okay, and they are very, very large. Okay, very large animals. Okay, um, now uh, in here it also talks about a buffalo herd. All right, now a herd is going to be more than more than one. It's going to be a lot. Okay, this here, this is a herd of buffalo. There are a lot, many hundreds. Of buffalo, okay. That is a herd, a herd. Okay. Any any other questions, class? Nope, not so uh, much. I have I have okay. uh, one question. All right, mom. Uh, there is a word called bounce. What? Uh, let's see. Bounds. Uh, can you type that in the chat box for me? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, pounded. Pounded. Yes. Okay, with a, a, a P sound. So, pounded. Okay, so, um, Mon, when when you pound something, <clears throat> sometimes you can you can do it with your hand and you pound. Okay, this action right here that is to pound. Okay, sometimes they have a tool that you would hit it with. Okay, and they would pound it and flatten it out. Okay, but to pound is to hit. Okay, pound that is to hit. 
Uh huh. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. All right. A uh, very good job, class. Well, we are uh, we are just about out of time. Uh, I wanted to uh, thank you all for coming to class uh, this hour. Okay, excellent job in in the reading, uh, also with your with your questions. Okay, um, and uh, good job in answering the questions for each of the stories that we went through. All right, uh, thank, thank you very much, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, have a mm -hmm. great night, morning, night. or afternoon, yes. wherever you're at. <laughs> thank All right, you, thank take you guys. Care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.